nouveau depuis euh, la dernière fois, depuis notre euh, dernière euh, leçon ensemble. Ah oui! <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to meet last time. <laughs> I was having some issues with the with my computer at the time and it wouldn't oui, come on. C'est ça. Je so. me souviens qu'il y avait des uh, difficultés avec uh, ton ordinateur uh, la fois passée. Et c'est mm -hmm. vrai, on n'a pas pu avoir la leçon la fois passée. Mais maintenant, uh, tout fonctionne bien euh, par la grâce de Dieu. Alors, mm -hmm. euh, c'est très, très bien. Je suis euh, très content, alors, euh, Tami. Et donc, euh, est-ce que tu te souviens là où on s'est arrêté euh, la dernière fois dans notre euh, lecture euh, ensemble de la Bible ah, oui. Excellent. Très bien. Euh, C'était quel euh, verset? Euh, le verset où on s'est arrêté la fois passée dans notre euh, dernière euh, leçon, famille. Tu te souviens? Do you remember? Which was oh, where we stopped last the, time? Where we together? stopped? Let's yeah. see. No, I think it was around 18, maybe. Donc, euh, le verset 18. 18. Oui, oui, I think. Ni, or J. Ponce. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, new. Okay. Just stop. I don't know. Oh, Arete. Areton. On s'est arrêté. Arete. Uh, on. Verse, uh, verset 18. Le verset 18. Donc, est-ce qu'on a fait le verset 18 la fois passée ou est-ce que c'est le verset 18 euh, qu'on doit faire euh, aujourd'hui? C'est-à-dire, uh, did we uh, do verse 18 last time or is it 18, uh, verse 18 we have to do today? I think we need to do it today. I can't remember for sure. Um, sometimes I try to remember to write a note on Skype, but I oui, didn't do it vrai. last time. <laughs> Il faut voir qu'on qu écrive un petit mot euh, sur Skype euh, pour qu'on puisse se souvenir, se rappeler. Donc, euh, euh, là où on s'est arrêté euh, la fois passée. Mm -hmm. Alors, euh, maintenant... Euh, on va, alors, je t'écoute lire le verset euh, 18, euh, s'il te plaît, Tami. Merci bien. Okay. Est-ce que tu veux que je t'envoie le texte, Tami? Do you want me to send you the links? Uh, I just got them, or I, I just did it from the last time, uh -huh. and let's see. So you have the links to all the different Bibles, different uh -huh. versions you do from last time. That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Very bien. Excellent. I was just kind of looking at it to see if. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 18 is where we're at. Okay. D'accord. Je t'écoute alors, Tami. Okay, so, qui c'est pas voilà qui comme un qui oui ou comme qui qui donc comme ça tu vas te, te rappeler euh, qu'il faut dire tu vas te, um, te souvenir qu'il faut dire qui euh, au lieu de qui donc c'est qui comme qui qui ou qui oui c'est ça yeah, ah oui c'est ça c'est un petit uh, peu différent mm -hmm. Qui connaît sa, sa volonté, oui. qui apprécie mm -hmm. uh, la différent, différent, différence, des donc c'est l'accent ah. et, là où il y a l'accent aigu sur le premier E, différence. 
Where are uh, the shows? Eitan mm -hmm. instruit mm -hmm. par la loi. Par la loi. Très bien. Excellent, uh, ami. So, who knows yes. his word? No. Who appreciates a different so thing? So, you said who knows his... Uh, what, how did you translate volonté? Uh, I was thinking word, but that... Uh, his... Okay. Do you remember what volonté means? I can't remember. No? Uh, Will. Volunteer. No, yes, like a volunteer. Like volunteer but... That's right. Ah, okay. So, volonté, I'll write it down in the uh, Skype chat uh, for you, Tommy. Volonté equals... Uh, um, uh, a will, as in a person's will, so it's feminine, okay. une volonté, it's a will. Ah, a will, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so un volonté is a will. Right. Are you talking about like a will and not, testament? Not, or not, a not, yes, that's right, I, I was thinking about that, I think it's better to specify, um, it's um, uh, a will, uh, like in brackets, uh, to do something, when you have the will to do something. Not a will, which is the legal document, but mm -hmm. it's a will to do something, in we'll volonté. Like right. we say, we have our free will or whatever. Exactly. Okay. Free choice. Tout à fait. Bravo, <laughs> Tami. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> right. uh, who appreciates the different things Mm -hmm. were instructed by the law. So it isn't the different things, or, is it would be les différentes choses if it was the different things. So I'll show you that by writing it to you. Les okay. différentes choses, that would be the uh, different things. But here it's slightly different because here we have la différence des choses. Oh. So it's not the, the difference. different things, but it's the difference between oh. things. That's uh, between uh, things. not just appreciating lots of different things on their own, but actually appreciating the difference between things. That is to say, the difference between one thing and another, and that's different, you see. Oh, and that makes sense because day is like of the or oh, of some choice, exactly. right? And then because different. otherwise it would be les différentes choses, you see. Ah, and uh, instead of it being différentes choses, which is different things, here is la différence des choses, the difference. Des choses. Oh, which okay. goes along with the free will or the yeah. will that's he appreciates it. the different thing. Uh -huh. Interesting. Other things, yes. yeah. Uh, and then eton, is that the form of the verb to be? Right, but which form is it? When you see A and T at the end in French, <laughs> what is oh, it? Oh, it becomes like an adverb? Well, no, that's a noun though. Or a an adverb is L-Y at the end, usually describing the verb, but this is actually a verb itself. Oh, and now it have verb It's not actually a verb itself, it's only describing the verb. So uh -huh. you should remember when it's A and T at the end, there's three letters at the end of the verb in English, which is the exact equivalent to A and T. What do we mm -hmm. put at the end of the verb in English when it's a doing word? Oh, no, that would be the... So L-Y is the adverb. Oh, when it's a doing okay. word, when it's present indicative continuous, like a gerund, uh, uh, are you familiar with that? But with the verb, to, would that be being instructed That's by the right. law? Being. Ah. Well done, Tammy. Bravo, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> being instructed uh, by the law. Because when you oh, have okay. a T at the end in French, it's the exact equivalent of having ing at the end in English. It's a doing word, present indicative continuous, the gerund. The, Ending in ing. Ah, uh, not ly, but ing. Which That's right. Ly would be an adverb. Ah. That's right. So we've got who knows his will, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. 
who yes. appreciates the difference uh, of things. Of, the, of um, things or, or between, between things. things. Yes, that's right. So that uh, means be the ability to be able to differentiate between things. It's talking about differentiation there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then being instructed by the law. Right. Um, Très bien, Tami. Excellent. Très bien. <laughs> okay. Alors, maintenant, on peut lire uh, en espagnol, Tami. Uh, let's see. That was LSG, BLP. Uh, yep. That's right. Uh, BLP, yes. This is que conoces su voluntad. Uh, e K A L A L E T E O E M E N Yeah, okay. I thought I skipped a line there. Voluntad E K L A L E T E A Insignado A Discernir Lo Que Es Más Valioso. So you say that you know. Okay, his will or the will, its will, mm -hmm. and that the law has taught you to discern it that is most worthy or value, value. Mm -hmm. So I, that has to do with worth, I think. That's right. So have a look at what I've just posted in the uh, Skype chat, uh, Tammy. Okay. You say you know his will and that the law has taught you to discern. But, oh, valuable. I knew mm. value also is something That's right. not worth. Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. so perfect. Perfectly. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Excellent. <laughs> Very good, Sammy. So now we so can go on. Both of those so far yes. were pretty... Very I close. Able, yeah. They're quite close. Pretty close. Yeah. So now we go on to the Hebrew... H H H. Okay. Ah, uh, let's uh, see. Uh, now Hebrews uh, probably uh, a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Atim Yadaim, so that uh, you all know mm -hmm. uh, Mahi, I mean Mahu, yes. from. Usually, who is he? But it's not. It has an olive at the end. Uh -huh. uh, Ratzinu, uh, Shel, Elohim, mm -hmm. uh, Atim, Yadaim, Lahiv, Lahiv, Lahavim, yeah. Lahiv, uh, Bain Tov. Okay, this one, Lara. Mm -hmm. Le Roth. Oh, to evil or no right. to bad. Uh Shehan Khan uh Lema Oh Lamadatam yeah. or Lamadatim rather uh -huh. at Tor Torto uh Od Lifne Zaman Rav. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you know from, I'm not sure who, uh, from him, but that doesn't make, I'm not sure my who. Uh, Ratsi knew we want of God. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, okay, lehavihin is, mm -hmm. I know is a verb. Oh, to, dis, to discern or to, Mm -hmm. Between good and evil. Yeah. Uh, that, or no, Shekhan, that you all, wait a minute, study, the modicum is you study, you all study, mm -hmm. at his laws, mm -hmm. or to, I believe that's his law, uh, again before time. Mm -hmm. Oh, more before bad time? Or no, many time. A Rav. Mm -hmm. Rav, I think, is many. Yeah. 
But that doesn't quite. That's totally different than what the other. Okay, so you know from running of God or something wanting of God, you all know to discern good and evil. Mm hmm. Uh. But then I don't know, Shikan. Uh, you study at the law, his law, mm -hmm. before time, many times. Okay. So let me just uh, send you the translation so you can see what it's like, uh, Tammy. Yeah, because that one wasn't quite making, well, I didn't know a couple of. Okay. You know what God wills. Ah, oh, so wills. Also, oh, Ratzim is want. So I guess desire, that's your will. So, yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. You know how to distinguish, to discern between good and evil. Oh, leaf nay is sent, or it can be mean sense. Mm -hmm. It can either be before and it can also mean sense. Mm -hmm. uh, you learn his teachings. Okay, I put Torah, yeah, teachings. Mm -hmm. Oh, before long, I mean, before, I guess Rob in that sense, instead of many, mm -hmm. is much time or before or long ago. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. Since long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's good. Well done, Tammy. <laughs> Bravo, Tammy. Excellent. <laughs> Et maintenant, en langue euh, italienne. BDG. Euh, yeah. Oui. BDG, en version italienne. OK. 18. Merci. Okay. C'est ça. Conoscetti. Or sette, mm -hmm. la sua volontà mm -hmm. e distinguete la differenza tra mm -hmm. il male, il male e il bene, mm -hmm. e approvate il bene perché fin da piccoli siete stati educati mm -hmm. secondo la sua legge. Okay, so you know the, your will, Sua is third person. Mm -hmm. The will and distinguish the difference between the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. And you approve the good because end of the little seven, wait a minute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, stati, I'm not sure what stati. Mm -hmm. uh, you educate second your ah. Hmm. Okay, piccoli is normally small mm -hmm. or little. Siete. Oh, feel. Hmm. Educated second education of the law. Well, the first part was pretty clear, but that last part is not making sense to me. <laughs> uh -huh. Because end of little, okay, siete, in Spanish, that would be the number seven, but in Italian that I'm not sure. So you educate. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I'm not okay. sure on that I'll, one. I'll, 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 I'll send it to you, okay, so you okay. can see what it uh, looks like yeah, in that the last population. part is um, yes. yeah. The first part I understood. Yes. Uh, so know his will and distinguish the difference between evil and good and approve of good because 
Oh, from an early age. Mm -hmm. So doll, piquely from little, mm -hmm. you were educated. Oh, stati must be the past tense of the verb to be. Mm -hmm. And then educati, you were educated according to his laws. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, à vous, Tati. <rire> Excellent. Très, très bien. Et maintenant, en anglais. Anglais. Oui, en anglais. Le verset 18. OK. NIV. Let's see. La nouvelle version internationale. <rire> New International Version. Mm -hmm. Here we are. If you know his will and approve of what is superior, mm -hmm. because you are instructed by the law. Mm -hmm. Ah. Très bien, Tommy. Bravo. Excellent. Interesting. Et on a le temps pour un autre verset. On peut continuer en français, Tommy. Le verset 19. Oui. <laughs> yeah, it was Uh, fairly clear in the français tonight. Mm. Um, you know, yeah. Oh, excellent. So, Très bien. The volonté was one word that uh -huh. I think was kind of new to me today. Well, I, I think we did have that before, but yeah, yeah, volunteer or that's right. Well. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Very good. That's a, yeah. Alors, on peut faire le verset 19 maintenant, Tammy. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, toi, qui oui. te flatte, or no, flat, 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 voilà, très bien, oui. D'être le conducteur. Le des... conducteur. Con, conducteur, conducteur. Conducteur, c'est ça. Conducteur, conducteur, conducteur. Oui. Des, uh, oh, des aveugles. Des aveugles, oui, avec la liaison. Des aveugles, oui. Uh -huh. La lumière, uh, dessous. Lumière. Lumière. Ah, lumière. Dessous, qui sont dans le ténèbre. Dans les ténèbres. Dans les ténèbres. Ah, si, ah. dans les ténèbres. Très bien, bravo, Tami. Ah. Alors, comment est-ce qu'on traduit cela en anglais? Uh, you who give you the name of Jew. Or no, That's Jew? Is that Jew? Which one? Which verb? Which word? Oh, wait a minute. I No, are, are you, are you reading, are you trying to translate 17? Yes, you read 19, but you're translating 17, Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> Ça, c'est le verset 17. I, my eyes went to number ah, 17 oui. and it was oui. 19. <laughs> c'est pour ça que j'étais étonné. I, I was surprised. I was thinking, oh, maybe you have a different version for me. Maybe uh, uh, there's something I've missed or maybe I'm not uh, understanding it correctly. <laughs> I feel myself. No. For some reason, my eyes went to 17 and I started <laughs> translating it. But um, at least I think I did. I'm not oui, sure. Oui, Jew is, oui, is that you? Oui. Uh, That's uh, right. You said you. Yeah, so you, you were doing well with the 17. Yeah, so you were translating it well. <laughs> on the yeah. law that glorifies, that you glorify of God. That's or nice. glorifies God. Okay. Right. Um, but anyway, 19. Yeah. You who, mm -hmm. I'm not sure, flat. Flatter. Flat. I've wondered about that, but yes. You see, if to... if you think it's something, you should give it a go and try <laughs> because often it can be the right word. You see, yeah, I mean, it's literally the, the same. Today. It's literally the same as in English, except there's one letter that changes, the last letter, and it's just uh -huh. a difference from one consonant to another consonant. It's not even the difference between a vowel and a consonant and a consonant and a vowel. And in fact, the two letters are right next to each other in the al alphabet. <laughs> that's true. It's right it's there. R S, yeah. you see? So it's, you just need to take the one letter that's just before 
the other letter in the alphabet, R instead of S. I mean, you cannot be closer uh, to the equivalent in the other language because it's only a one letter change, it's only a consonant, it's right last next letter, door. <laughs> and it's right next to it in the alphabet. So you cannot be closer than that without actually having the actual same word. Yeah, in, without actually being the, the, the word. Yes. <laughs> So you see, if you have to try, Mia, when you're not sure, you must go for it. Give it a try. You see? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that was the only. That was the first thing that. Oui. I thought was flatter, but mm -hmm. okay. So you who flatter yourselves that's right. for to be the conductor of the angel, or no, of no, not the angel. Uh, angel would be ange. <laughs> And so, uh, what is aveugle? Do you know that word, Tana? The, the conductor? No, I've never seen that word before. I'm still Have not sure. Have you heard of what, when Jesus says uh, um, to the Pharisees, you are like uh, somebody oh, leading was, somebody. Oh. And, and because uh, you are such and such a person leading such and such a person, then both of you will fall into a hole. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of like the blind leading the blind. That's it. Type of and that's thing. what it is. Averglar <laughs> means blind. You see, you remember oh. something. Yes. Oh, of course, the blind, and then Averglar. the light. Yes, the light uh, of this. Who are those? Oh, those. Those. That's right. Yes. Who sure. are in? The timbers. I'm, I'm thinking well, that sound when something is te ten te tenebrous, it means like it's very somber, it's very dark. So this means uh, oh. the the oh. darkness. You see, le tenebre, obscurity, darkness. Oh, okay. Because yes. I was thinking of some kind of music. I guess because of the conductor, I'm thinking. Ah, <laughs> you're thinking of music. Oh, funny. Yeah. That's the song. <laughs> okay. So, Tenebre is the, the darkness, you know, the outer darkness, the darkness outside. Ah, so he's talking yes. about lighting. That's Those right. The difference the between darkness. the light and the dark. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well done, Tony. Oh. Bravo, Tony. <laughs> We did two verses there in there. Oui, on fait deux verses. <laughs> Et maintenant en espagnol. Okay. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Te consideras guía de ciegos y luz de cuantos viven en Tinieblas, tinieblas. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will consider guide, wait a minute, guidance of Ciegos. Okay, so in the other one it was conductor. Mm -hmm. uh, you will consider yourself guiding of, oh, what was a vet? Let's see, that was, um, And light of uh, many uh, who are that live in darkness. That's right. Well done, Tammy. Bravo, Tammy. There's only donc, one word uh, I don't know. The ciegos. Uh, voici right. la traduction. Here is the translation. Uh, oh, okay. In the spam chat. Uh, let's see. You consider yourself the guy. Oh, the blind. I was trying to think. That's of it. That. Aveugle. Like Diego aveugle in French. This blind. I was trying to remember that. <laughs> um, like the blind leading the blind. You remember? Yeah. Jesus said, uh, uh, you're blind, and if you try leading the blind, both of you will fall into the hole. Because <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could think of was Ciegos, because that's a uh -huh. totally foreign word to me, uh -huh. is Cielo, which is sky. Or, oh. uh, it, yes. Yeah, it reminded me of sky anyway. Mm. <laughs> but oh, okay, that's right. So dark. So, so that was one word in that one that I did. So that's a new word of vocabulary that you've learned in Spanish. Uh, yeah. Spanish. So I've learned a new. 
and a new and a new and a new word in, French. in Hebrew too. In Hebrew, uh, yeah, to distinguish the verb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I'm learning new in each of these. So, yes, you're learning the word for uh, blind, so aveugle, uh -huh. in, uh, now, in French in and French uh, and Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. And, and probably in, in Hebrew as well. Let's see if in you Hebrew know. Too. Yeah, because I don't know blind in Hebrew. Wow, that's great. You're uh, learning a new word of vocabulary in all the different languages. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> a tin keshik kanim. Okay, that's a new one. So you blank shahin shahinakam. Uh, Muk Sharim. Mm -hmm. oh, these are all new words. Yero Yero <laughs> Yaim Ro Aim La Lil Mode uh, Ed Ele. Uh, so study these She on She on now. It's very uh, rich in Hebrew. It's very rich. I think they've. Uh really developed it a lot so you have because this is like the original text you know hebrew uh -huh. ancient Greek, Aramaic. so this is really well developed so it's a very rich text and they have lots and lots of uh, details which we don't have in the other languages you've noticed that yeah yeah uh hebrew is fascinating as far as studying the word because okay. it, it is it's very rich very um rich. Yeah, and most of these words, there's only a few that I know, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, et hoderic, so the mm -hmm. way, la, uh, which is to her, mm -hmm. yan, yan, oh, yan, yan, oh, wait, velishma, mm -hmm. uh, killed, wait a kaligi. Kaligadi, or okay, or is like Ham Medrakim mm -hmm. El or Al He Hey Oh He mm -hmm. Et L A Shitu Shitui Bahishka. Hmm. Yeah, mm. I don't know much of that one at all. Oh wait a minute, I skipped the wrong. Okay. Uh -huh. Et hit man me they et hayeladim, which that's the children. Yeah. Shekin, uh, a Tim, Makirim, they that you know or meet. At mm -hmm. oh, for oh, the law or for torta. Yes, that has to do with the torta. Torah, your law, mm. your law. Yeah. Uh huh. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Do you want to see what it looks like uh, yeah. in the translation? That one, I don't have a much of a clue. But there's lots of new words here. You're going lots to be learning lots, lots of new words. Yes. Ah, oh, to convince is a new verb for me. Yes. Talented uh -huh. is a new verb and worthy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lomo, okay, to teach. No, Lomo to study, teach is Lalam, or um, right. it's the same root, but uh -huh. uh, the way, who do not know, okay, I saw the word yaday, Yadim, no. Uh -huh. Derek was the way. Yeah. Uh, Elohim to God, and to serve, or they use or for, toward, Light is or I remember mm -hmm. seeing guiding. That's another new verb. God to those who have wandered in dark. Yeah, that's a. I don't know much of them words yet at all. For wow, some reason. That's, a, that's a lot of new <laughs> vocabulary. Wow. Yeah. How many, how new, many new words there in the? Uh, in the in the Hebrew, there? it's almost the whole text on that. Almost one. The whole text. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I knew a couple of words like you, mm 
uh, teach God. Mm -hmm. um, they must have used a different verb for serve because usually it's um, shamar, but okay. I don't remember seeing shamar in that text. <laughs> uh -huh. Of course, or is light. I knew that one. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, yeah, a lot of new words in that one. I'll have to go yeah. back. And <laughs> Interesting. Très intéressant, ami. Alors maintenant en italien. Oh, that's right. I think that was a. Right. Okay, Italian. I'm Italian. All right. Let's see. Nineteen. Per questo credete addirittura de di essere una guida or guida, I guess it would be per uh, i uh, cieci or no, yeah, cieci uh, spirituali una luce per quelli che sono nel buo. Pensate di poter uh, guardare uh, gli ignoranti. Uh, a. Okay. Oh, it goes on into 20, but let's see. Yeah. Uh, for this, believe, or you believe, mm -hmm. I believe, credete, I'm not. Uh, Adoratura, uh, for to be a guide for mm -hmm. spiritual keys. Well, I'm not sure what key, key, key is. Mm -hmm. Spiritual guidance, maybe? Mm -hmm. An attitude, I'm not sure what that was. A light for those that are in, uh, I guess, buo. Sure buo. Mm -hmm. I know boa is to drink, but I know that's not what that would be there. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, you think of bringing guidance to the ignorant? Yes, very good. Uh, oh, well done, Tammy. Bravo, Tammy. Uh, Excellent. Et voici uh, la traduction, donc, uh, du texte yeah, en I'm italien. Adoratory. I wonder what the thing. I've written the translation there for you in the scam chat. Yeah, let's see. For this reason, you even believe. It was believed. It was believed, yes. You yes. believe. Oh, yeah. uh, you are a spiritual guide, or wait, guide for the spiritual blind. There blind. we go again, blind. I missed blind. blind. Oh, the word blind. Another word for blind. So you've learned the I word learned blind, blind in all the different, different languages. Oh. All the languages. I've got a new word. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> A light uh, for those who are in the dark. Mm -hmm. Think you can lead the ignorant. Ah. And then the A at the end is and, so it goes and. back to the... Yeah. Uh, next, that's why I said it goes into 20, <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bravo, Tami, très bien, tu as pris le mot aveugle dans toutes les différentes langues que tu connais et que tu étudies, ça c'est bien ça. Bravo. Yeah, I'm surprised that it ends with and on that verse in Italian, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's, it's probably because of the continuation of... Uh, the sense uh, of the text, because um, mm -hmm. uh, for them, it's like uh, a part of the sentence. And so uh -huh. this is just one phrase in the sentence. So obviously, they've already put the and uh, at the end of the verse instead of the beginning of the next verse, you see. Mm. Yeah, because when I looked at that, I said, I, it goes into 20, but. Yeah, <laughs> because usually you put to the and uh, at the beginning of the next phrase, you don't yeah. usually put and at the end of a phrase. So they've done it slightly differently here. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of strange that they broke it up right there, yeah. you know. Because yeah. <laughs> you know it's not a complete thought there. <laughs> and sometimes they link a few verses together. They can yeah. have like uh, 19 to 20 and then they give you both 
verses together without a break, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen that before. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, in English, en anglais. Ah, uh, anglais. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you are convinced that you are a guide for the blind, mm -hmm. a light for those who are in the dark. Mm. Ah. Très bien. Bravo, ça <laughs> oui. Excellent. En tout cas, tu as très bien fait aujourd'hui. <laughs> You've done very well today. Et on a fait deux Merci versets. Beaucoup. We did two verses. Oh, yeah, we did two tonight. Interesting. <laughs> a, a, a new cruising speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did two this time. Yeah. I'm so grateful we were able to get through this one and um, oh. with the computer and everything. Oh, yeah, because last time I had to have mine um, remotely uh, mm. checked and stuff, and uh, oh. they erased some file and stuff or whatever that was slowing my computer down and all, all but right. it seems to be working now <laughs> oh that's good c'est so. bien Tommy excellent je suis très content uh, pour toi yeah. bravo <laughs> félicitations Tommy merci beaucoup <laughs> avec plaisir et, et merci pour la leçon Tommy merci beaucoup ah, oui. Oui. are we rather <laughs> <laughs> Et donc, à, à la prochaine leçon, euh, la prochaine fois, et euh, une bonne nuit pour toi, dors bien, Tami, ah, et, oui. et, et toutes les bénédictions du Seigneur pour toi, au nom de Jésus, Amen. Amen, Amen, amen and God bless amen. you and your family. And, Merci, uh, Tami, et pour and... toi et, et ta famille aussi. Si, <laughs> and oui. I'll be in trouble. <laughs> à très bientôt. Merci, Samy. Merci. Bientôt. Merci. À bientôt. À bientôt.